I want to make some money here somehow, even if my buyer flakes out. When I charge earnest money, let's say I owe 500 to the seller. I could just charge 500 to the buyer that I find, but I'm actually now collecting like 2000, 2,500 non-refundable because my 500 is going to become non-refundable at some point during this transaction. And so I want to make some money here somehow, even if my buyer flakes out. So I make money even if they don't buy. <laughs> what do you think about that technique? Yeah, that's Pretty, the only way to do it. Unless you got a solid buyer that you know, then there's no yeah. need to do it if you worked with the guy and you know he's legit. But yeah, I'll tell you what I did. I I went to my I built a buyer's list in my local market, Kansas City, and there's a handful of really active buyers here. Okay, maybe slightly more but they're consistent, consistent, right, right on the money, like a clock. I mean, they'll buy, if it's a deal, they'll buy it. Okay. I, I got to find out who the big players in Kansas city are. You should do this in your local market. I called them up. I said, Hey, you know, I'm a wholesaler. I'm trying to up my game. <clears throat> and it makes sense to me that I'll up my game when I understand what you want more. Can I buy you lunch? Take them out to lunch. Okay. We took him out to lunch. Here's what I asked him. I said, Hey, what I want to do. They said, yeah, what do you think? And I said, here's what I want to do. I want to build what I call a dedicated buyer. Uh, you know, so in other words, I get deals, I get leads on deals. Sometimes I get properties that I don't know what the repair costs are going to be. Sometimes I get properties and I can't even go to them because I'm busy. And what I want is a dedicated buyer, maybe two or three of you guys. And I like you and you're a serious player. So could you be a dedicated buyer for me? So when I get a deal or I get a property, would you guys be willing to go look at it? You know, maybe snap a few pictures, make your, make your offer. You've got exclusive first, you know, dibs on it from me. And you know what? I, I said, uh, another thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need $2,500 earnest money. And I need to know that it's there every single time I bring a deal. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could do that. How many deals do you think you're going to be bringing us a month? See, man, this is business now. See, now we're talking about making money, okay? Because I can bring them how many deals? Uh, uh, they'll, they'll buy up to 10 a month, okay? <laughs> I have a lot of potential here, all right? I have basically outsourced and automated half of my business now. I have a debt in, in Kansas city. I have a dedicated buyer's list. In other words, I get a property deal. I shoot a text message. It's gone. That's half my business. That's the dispo side. <laughs> okay. Right now the acquisition side, it's what we talk about here all the time. So it's, it's the work. It's the workhorse of the business is the, the acquisition side, the dispo side here in Kansas city. It's a breeze. Okay. If it's really a deal. Right. And sometimes it looks like one and it's not. You know, <laughs> Kansas City's funny. But uh, a lot of times it is. All right. So work to develop your business, guys. Work to develop that business and develop these relationships. Remember, I've told you, uh, I've taught you many times that nobody in this business gets rich alone. Nobody. And I mean, nobody. You won't find one dude that got rich alone in this business. It won't happen. What was your, what was your process? Um, if you don't mind me asking about uh, connecting with uh, local sellers, did you just pull a, a seller's list and reach out to them and then kind of narrowed it down once you were able to get them on the phone or, um, you know, seller, you know? sellers or cash buyers? I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking about cash buyers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how it evolved for me is I, Got connected with Mary I, which is Mid America Real Estate Investors Club. It's the big club in town, and thankfully they got a a cash buyers list too, and they'll share it with your ass. Okay, <laughs> that's the cool part. 
I went and I grabbed that thing. I put an ad on Craigslist. I started having uh, people drip in to my email list. And, you know, that's, that's pretty much, I went to Freedom Soft. I signed up for a seven day free trial. I downloaded the cash buyers list and then I canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does that. <laughs> okay. I did a ringless voicemail. All of that stuff got me a list and it was a pretty good list. It's like 400 and something people. Now I know that's not a humongous list, but this is 400 pretty serious people that have said, yes, I buy houses. Please send me some deals. Okay. So can't knock it. Now I tell people, you got to have at least 150. If you're in a decent sized city, you got to have at least 150 people on your list to have two or three ready to buy at any given moment. Okay. So at 400 and something, I'm, I've got two or three, four or five people that will buy at any given moment. Okay. I sent out a message, an email that said, who on this list is ready to buy a property deal today if I provide one that meets your preferences, right? That's it. Today. Today. I only had just a few people respond. Those are the guys. <laughs> Today is the qualifier, huh? Today. Those are the guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit. You see what I'm saying? Dude, I got no end to awesome buyers. Okay. But I also have no end to buyers that know me and they like me. Okay. If you're not a likable guy, this shit ain't going to work, man. Right. You know, if you're a grumpy, unlikable kind of person, you think going to lunch with them and even saying all that, they're going to walk away from the table feeling good and excited. Oh man. But when they left the table that day with me after lunch, they left excited that I'm going to send them deals. They're going to get exclusive first look at this shit. They're not going to have to compete anymore. $2,500. I'm feeling good too. Earnest money down every deal, every single deal contract it right away and then close in 10 days. <laughs> Man, I'm ready. You see, you see what I'm saying? That's how you turn. That's how you turn your whole damn life around. Yeah, that's I, how. I was gonna. I was gonna ask you that. So, at the time that you realized that it, it kind of came like it went thump. That look, I got a, a a straight buyer's pool for all of my deals. How did it change the way you felt as an investor? I felt like a pro for the first fucking time yeah. ever. Yeah. Yeah, up and up and too. up until then, I was I was like running, chasing things. I hope this works. I hope I can do this. If this plans out, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the money. I'm gonna make the bills. I'm a, I'm running, <sighs> winded, right. changing yeah. hats, changing hats. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Don't yeah. do it. You don't even need to do it. If you knew two or three dedicated buyers like that in your local market and you launched an acquisitions machine like we talk about building all the time, two or three is 200 grand a year to you. That's, that's the numbers.